is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I will be teaching you Space Disco. Space Disco is a low-level key synth that can add a lot of background to your main synth. And I'll display that by playing a main synth, but then soloing out the synth we're actually going to be making. So, followed by this demo example is a previous synth that has been covered in a previous video. So take a listen, and I'll show you how to make this. As you can tell, it's very elegant. So inside this combinator, if you don't already have a combinator, you go to utilities and create one. We're going to create a Thor. Thor is very special because you can add as many basically sounds as you want into three oscillators. So for our first analog oscillator, I'm basically, basically going to leave it as is except take it down an octave. The next synth that we're going to create is a wavetable. I take it to 10 signs, leave the position at 0, take the octave and make sure that's at... Ah, make sure the octave is at 4, turn on uh, the routing for oscillator 2 and 3 to be routed to filter 1. For oscillator 3, then create an FM pair. Make sure our octave is boosted by 5, our FM is set to 71, our carrier is set to 3, and our mod is set to 1. Now I'm going to take the drive all the way down to 25 and my filter frequency to 407 hertz. Turn on chorus and make sure amp envelope uh, decay and sustain are turned up all the way. You can add a little bit of attack and a little bit of release to remove a lot of harshness. So after this, actually I'm going to play a few notes to see if we're in the right ballpark. We are, but it's incredibly faint. So what we need to do is add a RV7000 Advanced Reverb. I'm going to take my dry wet to 24 and my decay to 16. And what I'm basically going to do is turn on the EQ. Make sure the room size is set to 4. ER level set to 6. ER late 100% pre delay all the way up to 250 milliseconds. Size all the way up and the fusion all the way up. So after this, let me make sure I don't mess anything with the EQ. Oh, I do. So basically, we just add a little bit of low gain. So about 9.7, that should be fine. Next, what we want to do is create three PEQ to equalizers to remove frequencies. It's very important to remove these frequencies because they can get in your way for later productions and also when you're playing this live if you plan on playing it live a lot of the frequencies will start to disrupt a lot of the other music that you're queuing. So I'm going to play a few notes and basically oh I forgot to reattach oh I didn't huh oh yeah my bad sorry forgot to arm it now I'm going to play a few notes and filter out the frequencies. If you can't hear it, um, I'm just going to basically create an M-Class maximizer real quick. And we'll boost the input all the way.
Okay, so now that we have this, the last thing we need to do, I'm going to get rid of this maximizer. I'm going to create a pulverizer. Turn up the squash pretty much until it starts sounding better. Now, as you can tell, this is super duper faint. So, if you want, you can actually create a screen for distortion before this, or actually a line six base amp, and just uh, compress the threshold. Give it some more dirt. After this, if you don't have basically this synth or this, um, what is it? If you don't have this rack extension, there's really not a whole lot I can provide for you guys, but you can use a screen for and just turn it to tape. So I'm going to turn on my, I'm going to create a soft tube, turn it on low, and set the saturation to 2.6. After this, I'm going to create a maximizer, M-Class Maximizer, take off limiter, put release to auto, turn on soft clip, and set the amount to 127. So you have successfully created your space disco synth. It's a background filler and it's great to learn. So I'll check you guys out for another synth.